I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much for clicking this video. Welcome to my Beautyverse. My name is Turner and so today I'm going to do an update about my uh, Turner and Burn project pen. Um, this project is actually about, you know, using up your sample products, either voice samples as well as little, you know, deluxe size samples and to see what you like and what you not like. So first of all, some delightful news. I got a lot of empties because I was, I was, I think in a I don't know why I was so energized and I was like, yeah, let me power through them. And I powered really through them. So, and let me get started with the foil samples so that we are have them out of the way. Um, I have to say, I have actually two makeup products or makeup samples in this project. Uh, one of them is here, this NARS uh, concealer. Um, what was it again? This soft matte uh, complete concealer. Still not used it up. It's It's just you know going on going and uh you know i uh, you just need to use it very very sparingly and um the other thing was this cryolin you know um cream highlighter uh, sample um you know free samples I, I still have not gotten the chance to go through those though i have to admit i used actually one makeup sample which i didn't plan to use up in when i you know um started the turn and burn project but uh, there was opportunity to use up the mascara or to use uh, this sample it's actually a mascara from Gala and it's the La Petit Troupe uh, Noir mascara black lash dress mascara and it's a sample uh, but I have to say okay I start now with <laughs> this one sorry a uh, change of plans you know, you know. Um, it's ridiculous this sample I don't know who invented the sample because First of all, you you know, this is the top part. You cannot get rid of it. You cannot even cut it or you cannot even rip it uh, off. Then you always have to kind of wriggle the mascara out of it. You know, you have to go in this way, you know, to put it in. Then you have to turn it so that you can get actually some mascara on the wand. And then you have to pull it out again and then use it. And, you know, in my case, I was like, okay, I didn't even get the chance, you know, to put some things on my eye because, first of all, the mascara is scented. Why do you put perfume sample on in mascara? Because if you if you have somebody who has sensitive eyes, they are, they will cry. I have sometimes, you know, I cry sometimes because something goes into my eye and I'm and I'm crying even when I'm driving, for example, and I'm very sensitive. So it was ridiculous. And then also, um, uh, you cannot see it, of course, but. There's so much or not so much in it and it's already dried up. I mean, of course, I, you know, I ripped it apart because I wanted to see how it looks like inside. But the problem was e either way, you know, the wand doesn't, you know, really goes and touches the sides. You really have to do it yourself to, you know, and then press it. So this is ridiculous. Uh, I mean, this is a ridiculous sample in that sense. And they should have used the one I think from Mac when they have this little tube and you have the mascara as a cap and then you can just you know with the brush I mean and then you just put in the mascara turn it and that's it and then you just open it up again Th you know this one is just gimmicky I mean it's nothing it's it's ridiculous so anyway I used it up so then I actually used up some foil samples. Now back to the foil samples. The foil samples were this Lancer, the Method Nourish, uh, a potent anti-aging treatment, 2 ml. I, I came to the conclusion that if you have this kind of skincare samples, especially in foils, they are not enough, you know, the quantity is not enough really to make a firm determination if you want to buy it or not. You can judge on on basis of sand, uh, of uh, uh, scent and how it feels on your skin but if you want to see long-term results you need at least um let's say 5 ml or something like that you know because your skin renews itself every 20 days uh, 28 days so i can just 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 judge the you know the let's say the performance of this one um, by just using it one time and say oh yeah it smells good or, or it absorbs quickly but then I cannot see how my skin will really look you know after I use it let's say for a month so therefore you know I'm a little bit disappointed um, this this one is a, a Tarte Skincare Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic H2 
O serum. I used it. But did I notice something? Not really. Then this was Sunday Rapid Flash Brightening Serum, CEO. Sorry, I have to mention it, but I, you know, because I ripped it here, uh, ripped it uh, name off. So again, you know, this is ridiculous. It's only one ml. Sunday Riley is very expensive. So they could at least give a five ml sample, you know, in a pump or whatsoever and say, try it out and I make a determination. Uh, with one time use, I mean, pff, uh, I will not buy it, of course. Um, what else? Then I have actually the bigger size of this one. It's a Polar's Choice Redness Relief SPF 30 Mineral Moisturizer. I like it. You know, it's uh, it's okay. So I use this one or I use the sample because I was like, okay, let me try to get rid of that sample because why not? Then again, Estee Lauder Re 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 Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging anti Cell Power Cream. And this was how many ml? 1.5 ml. Come on, you know, if it's expensive, I would ex at least exp uh, expect to have a bigger size, you know, of a sample so I can really try it out. Then I had this here, Clark's Botanical Smoothing Marine Cream. I don't even remember, you know, if it smelled nice or not, I don't even remember, to be honest with you. So these were the samples, uh, the four samples. Now let's get to the bigger samples. Um, here I had the body care, uh, body lotion from uh, This Works. Uh, nice, it's actually kind of eucalyptus, menthol, uh, menthol, um, you know, scent. So when you put it on, it immediately has a cooling effect. I liked it, so I had several of those. But actually, last or several months ago, and I found coincidentally this one, and I liked it. But would I go out of my way and buy a thirty or I don't know twenty euro body lotion? not really so and what else then uh once i made a purchase at pixie beauty and then i got like 10 different uh, kinds of samples so and i actually use now the sample so this was the glow tonic um you know um, exfoliating toner i like it i used it i have also the big 500 ml bottles you know which will be used one time or one day so that was fine with me. And this one, the rose cream cleanser, I took it on my holidays in uh, at the beginning of July and used it there and I've completely finished this one. Um, the smell of rose is not my favorite uh, scent, you know, so it was okay, let's say like this, but I noticed afterwards when I, you know, went in with a toner or micellar water to clean my face, I noticed there was still makeup residue. So that's okay. Rose tonic again, I used it up, you know, would I buy it again or, you know, a rose scent? No, but the glow tonic, yes, definitely. Then I had in in the Inglot multi-toner, I told you there is, it's scented. So if you are sensitive to scents, you might want to get and stay away from it as well as with the rose toner, a rose, uh, you know, if you are sensitive to smells or scents, stay away from them. Um, what else? I had this little uh, Bioderma, you know, the micellar water thingy that I had in a bigger bottle in a number project. I had this, I used this up, for, you know, to clean my, or, you know, to remove the eye makeup. It was good, but, you know, it's a stupid design for a sample. Can you see it? It's flat. I cannot even, and also here, this edgy part here, uh, it, it, it stops me from putting it, in, you know, from having it, uh, uh, what is it, vertically standing somewhere. It's, it's, you know, it will fall down and then also the liquid will just run out. So it was a stupid design. Anyway, if you would have, you know, cut this off and make it a little bit rounder at the bottom, it would have been nicer. So, but this is again, stupid design of samples. I don't understand the people, you know, hire me if you want to have a sample designer or sample packaging designer, you know, hire me. I will tell you what is good, what is not good and so on. So then another thing I had this. Uh, instant cleansing balm from Good Molecules. Um, it was nice. It you know it cleaned actually. It was like a kind of oily, uh, not oily, but it was more like it smelled it in your hands when you once you you know put it on your skin or you know have it uh, longer on your hands. It will start to uh, you know to um, melt uh, and so on. And it was really melting off the makeup. I like this one. 
uh, again, would I buy it um, with the import duties and so on from Butelish? I mean, once you order something from Butelish and it comes from America, you have to pay import taxes uh, or custom duties, no matter what's the worth. So if this is, let's say, I don't know the exact price, uh, the bigger size, let's say 10, 15 dollars, and I pay 20 euros on top of it uh, as import taxes, it's not worth it for me. So I'm like, you know, I will buy then other stuff from local market, uh, local supermarkets or local drugstores. So um, it's nice, but I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. What else? Then I have here from Omorovica the uh, deep cleansing mask. It was like a, you know, scented clay mask and um, it should, I don't know what's the claim for this one, the other maybe brightening. Um, it was a nice size, 5 ml and it was okay what i was not happy about is actually again sample size you know why don't you put something like a cream in this kind of tub instead of you know putting it in a foil sample because i have some uh, you know i will show you i have some foil samples from omorovica and they are just a 2 ml you know and i'm like i wish they would have given me all this one in this kind of tub because this one i just wash it away you know i just put it on my skin 10 minutes after 10 minutes, I just wash it away. What's the deal with this one? I mean, I, you know, if I need a cleanser, I can just also use just a cleanser and this one doesn't, you know, penetrate or uh, is not absorbed from in my skin and so on. So, you know, it's again, the priorities of these companies sometimes are messed up. Put this one in and then I can, you know, try it out and see what are the effects on my skin. And uh, I can you uh, make a firm decision if I want to buy it or not because Omorovica is not cheap, you know. So do I want to buy a cleansing balm or do I want to buy a more expensive cream? And uh, you know, and based on what, you know, this one I can wash away, so it's not worth it to buy it for me. But this one, you know, I use it one twice, and then I'm like, I forgot about the effects anyway. Or I can just only smell it and say, oh yeah, it smells good. But will I buy it because of the smell? No. But if I have seen the long-term results you know by using a bigger size sample then it's it's more logical that i might buy this one again stupid 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 so but i will use the top you know because it's it's kind of glass i think it's not plastic it's glass i think so then the last thing that i have used is actually from tata harper the resurfacing mask for instant glow 15 ml this was nice in a sense because I don't know if you know uh, because the right size 15 ml and Tata Hapa is also not cheap but I think it's a generous size of a sample to give to the customer and say look try it out so in that sense I appreciate it uh, would I buy Tata Hapa if it's on sale yes definitely I would try it out so as you can see it's totally empty and I can reuse actually the glass uh, top you know so in that sense I'm happy about it and I will just show you all my skincare samples you know that I can just use by you know when I'm doing my makeup routine or skincare routine they are here as well as my uh, you know little uh, perfume samples that I have as well as my hair uh, product things and everything fits in one of these you know so I've reduced it um, Another story, my makeup samples are still in a little pouch and they are a lot. So it's like I have to really dig dig through it and see what I can use. But for the turn and burn skincare uh, product side, I have to say I'm really happy that I started this project and I get rid of my samples and, uh, you know, and they don't take up so much space right now because I can really see, OK, this is a serum. Oh, let me try the serum at nighttime and then uh, the next day I just reuse my regular serum. So I'm really, really happy about it. I would definitely recommend to do this project. Let, please let me know if you are doing as well some kind of project like this and what are your outcomes or results. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.